In this Maya 3D modeling tutorial, I'm going to show you how to set up multiple renderable cameras and then render all of those frames of animation at the same time. Here I have a simple animation of a red ball bouncing, hitting a coffee cup, and then a tennis ball comes in and bounces and lands in that coffee cup. You can see coming from the right that there is a camera that has motion. It's right here. And then I also have a camera here. If I zoom out a bit, you'll notice a third camera right here. How do we make cameras? You can go to the Create menu and select Create Cameras. There are three types. You can select a standard camera, which these ones are, a camera and an aim, so you can keyframe both the aim and where the camera is, and then Camera, Aim, and Up. This is especially helpful if you're doing a roller coaster scene. Let's just create one new camera. Here I have a new camera, camera four. I'll press W to move it up, then move it over. And then we can see where it is looking. For example, if I wanna know what it sees, I can right click here and then select camera four. In this scene, if I orbit, I'm actually aiming the camera. So this is what camera four will see. We can go ahead and click this framing device. If I zoom in, I'm zooming in with the camera. So if I wanted to have a very close up shot, say of where this tennis ball is starting, I can move and zoom in to right where the tennis ball is. And I can have this camera be right where I want it. In fact, I can even parent this camera to the tennis ball if I want it to follow it. To parent an object, you select one object in the outliner, then control click the next object and press P. So now this camera will follow the tennis ball, as you can see here. It's basically as if I attached a GoPro right to the tennis ball, and we can see it going right into the cup. So that's kind of a fun camera angle. I'll keep that as camera four. So now, how do I make these cameras renderable? To make the cameras renderable, select them in the outliner, then click your attribute editor. If you're in the animation workspace, your attribute editor will come up as a separate window. Then in the second tab called Camera Shape, scroll down to Output Settings. Click Renderable. Do this for each of the cameras that you want to have renderable. I'm clicking through the outliner, and then the Attribute Editor updates with my current camera. Now I'm on Camera 4, and I'll click Renderable. Now I'm ready to export my animation rendered sequence. To do that, first, let's click on the Render Settings. On the Common tab of the Render Settings, we need to make sure that our frame animation extension is name underscore number dot extension. If it's not and it has single frame, we won't be able to export a sequence. So make sure this is set. The next thing is we want to make sure we have enough frames. You may not want to export all your frames, but the defaults will not allow you to export your entire animation. Here we can choose which renderable cameras we want to use. We can make them unrenderable here. And then of course we can set our size, a good size. The set is HD 1080 once you're done. This will take much longer to render than HD 540. Once you're set up though, this will give you a really nice output. If you're using the Arnold renderer, you can go to the Arnold tab and you can change this number to increase the quality. Note that a little bit goes a long way. When I change this to a four, this lower number changes to 360. So a little bit goes a long way. All these values are multiplied together. For now, I'm going to leave this at three. Once you have your settings set up, then you want to close the render settings. We'll select the render view and it will automatically render a scene. This is now rendering at 1080p because that's what we changed our render settings to. You can always change those settings to go back. If you don't want the entire render to happen, just press escape, and then you can go change your settings. We need to click on render, render sequence, and then click the little box. In the render sequence box, we can select which camera. We can also select all render enabled cameras. This will render all our cameras at the same time. We can also set an alternate file location. Maya will automatically put the frames from each camera in their own labeled folders, but we can 
click here, it will go to the images folder of our project. Then we can click this folder icon to create a new folder. We can call this final render. Then we double click the folder, select it, and now it's going to save these images in the final render folder. Then we click render sequence and close and all of our files will be inside that folder ready for import into the video editor of our choice. So hopefully this helps you export all your renderable cameras at the same time from Autodesk Maya.